that the elections are behind us, the state of Arkansas is shifting gears toward the fiscal session, which begins on April 8th. But there's a lot of work to be done ahead of that first day of the fiscal session. Today, Governor Hutchinson presented his budget to lawmakers. Jay Burr was there. Jay, what was the address today? Hey guys, the governor talked about a lot of different line items today in a meeting with the Joint Budget Committee from Medicaid spending all the way to K-12 education. The governor comes in with a big spending number, but also a big surplus number. I hope everybody is in a good mood after the election last night. Otherwise, we just simply get over it. But, governor Asa Hutchinson trying to lighten the mood before getting down to business. On Wednesday, he presented his proposed $5.8 billion budget. The balanced budget that I have presented increases state spending by 1.5 percent. This is the lowest rate of growth in general revenue spending since the Great Recession. You don't get crazy, uh, but uh, I do still think there's some pretty big things that the, that the state needs to invest in in the future. Hutchinson also touting the savings that the transformation package has brought to the state, but lawmakers don't think the state will realize those savings as much in the short term. I'm still trying to reserve judgment on just how much transformation might be saving the state. The overall savings uh, will will begin to hopefully realize those in the, the months and years to come. There is a budgeted $54 million surplus, which Hutchinson partly credits because of Arkansas's economy. Wage rates are up, taxes are down, and we're at the lowest level of SNAP benefits compared to any time in the last 15 years. This is just the beginning of the budgeting process, and lawmakers will now get to go over the governor's budget line by line and make changes if they see fit. Whatever we do, we've got to keep in mind that the entire state needs to be healthy from corner to corner. Governor Hutchinson also mentioned that the Department of Community Corrections will get a $2.6 million boost for 175 beds, plus over 60 already in place in Texarkana and West Memphis, and they hope that they will alleviate some of the county jail overcrowding. Again, the fiscal session set to start April 8th. Guys.